Hey guys, it's Toby and we're back on the dyno, this time with a 408 LS. Uh, this is our Pro Street setup. So obviously forge crank, forge rods, forge pistons. It's got our steel top ring set. Uh, it's got an LS3 CNC head, so this is our cylinder head, uh, ported by Chris Frank. So it's got our custom valves, Inconel exhaust, uh, custom spring kit done by PAC, uh, also titanium retainers. And uh, we're gonna test this intake. Eventually it's gonna have a Pro Charger F1R, as you can see. But the point of this uh, test is really to um, see what kind of intakes uh, will make a difference. I know a lot of guys don't have the room for the Holly High Ram. So we're gonna test this low compression 408, like since nine to one compression. So it'll work on pump gas, but we're gonna test it with the stock LS3 intake. We're gonna test it with the Edelbrock XT intake which is very similar to the Holly EFI High Ram. And we're also gonna test it with a single plane intake for Metal Brock for the drag racers out there. And basically a lot of drag racers like to use the single planes. So we're gonna test that with an uh, AccuFab 4500 throttle body. Uh, cam duration on this is not too crazy. It's 236 duration. It's got about 635 lift. And uh, we're about to test it out. Remember this is being ran on pump gas. So let's see what it does. Hey guys, so here we are on the dyno with this 408 LS. We're gonna test it with three different intakes. Uh, the Holly High Ram, the Edelbrock XT, actually four different intakes. The Holly High Ram, the Edelbrock XT, the stock LS3 intake, and the Edelbrock single plane um, carburetor style intake manifold with a 4500 throttle body. So this is the Holly High Ram. 101 millimeter throttle body. Again, it's only a 9 to 1 408, so we don't really expect to see uh, stellar numbers out of it. Here we go. KPA, so it's got uh, pretty good street manners. We're going to rev it to 6800 RPM. Seven foot pounds of torque at 6100 RPM and 623 horsepower there at uh, 6800 RPM, and it actually looks like it wants to keep going. So uh, let's try one more pull, take it to 6900. done there so it repeated the numbers very well so you can see uh, let's see here the graph pretty much overlays itself so right there 68 6900 it's done it's really begging for that blower this thing needs boost hey guys we're back with the uh, LS and this time we've got the Edelbrock Pro Flow XT intake now I like the intake, it's actually almost two inches shorter right above here than the Holly High Ram, which is great. Some guys need more clearance. Uh, what I don't like about it is they seem to have casted it for uh, you know about 90 millimeter throttle body. So we've got the same 102 millimeter throttle body on here we had on the uh, High Ram. And check this out. You can see the difference. Now we're not gonna modify the intake, we're not gonna touch it, so we're gonna see if this makes a huge difference. It is a low compression engine, 
Uh, but at least it'll show a difference to those guys that need that extra hood clearance. So let's see what it does. All right, guys, here we are with the Edelbrock XD intake manifold on our 408 LS low compression boosted engine. So again, naturally aspirated, we'll see what it does. <laughs> in the bright green uh, the torque curve is pretty much the same our horsepower curve pretty much lays over itself the same uh, you could uh, you could pretty much say that it's safe to say that the smaller throttle opening didn't make a difference the intake plenum volume or runner length didn't make a difference uh, goes to show that this is pretty much just the cam doing what it's gonna do Next up, Edelbrock single plane. Hey guys, it's Toby and we're back again. This time we've got the Edelbrock Super Victor intake mounted on the LS. It's got a 4500 AccuFab throttle body. Now generally with a single plane intake, you might get a little bit of uh, low end torque um, issues, might be a little bit lower. Generally, you'll make it up on the top end, but of course, that all depends on the cam, the compression, uh, the cylinder head. So, we're going to see what this does. Martin's been playing with it, and let's see if it's ready to dyno. Hey guys, we're back with the Super Victor intake on the LS408. This is uh, got the AccuFab 4500 big throttle body on there, and we'll see what it does. <laughs> Obviously our startup tune is a little different than the other manifolds. Looks like we lost a little bit of bottom end and a little bit of top end too in this particular instance. As you can see, uh, peak torque after peak torque, uh, we kind of lost a little bit there. Uh, our lambdas are pretty much right on target, one run over the other. Uh, we lost bottom end torque, try to make it up there in the middle, and it didn't really carry on top. So this manifold definitely wrong combination with the camshaft that we have picked out again this isn't something that's optimized for this intake runner length and volume uh, really was made to run with the supercharger so we'll see uh, what the stock manifold is going to do for us next uh, stock manifold we find is a pretty well engineered product so we'll see what it does see you soon hey guys it's Toby again and we've got the last intake of the night this is a factory LS3 intake. Got the same 102 millimeter throttle body with the balloon on. 
So we're gonna test this intake and see how it does. I mean, it does have longer runners. Still got that pretty bad mismatch there on the yes, intakes. Unfortunately, you can't really remove too much on these intakes, but we're gonna see. I mean, obviously it has longer runners, so it should provide a lot more low end torque. The question is, where is it gonna kill horsepower, if it kills any horsepower at all? So this will pretty much tell you, um, you know, where you're limited to if you're making a certain amount of power and where you should run the stock intake and where you shouldn't. So let's see how it does. All right, guys, so we're gonna test that LS3 intake manifold with the 102 millimeter throttle body. Uh, again, 408, uh, I think we're pretty much done with uh, everything that we're doing here testing wise. <laughs> This also does have the stock LS3 injectors, and I'm not going to spend too much time tuning the bottom end. But uh, here we go. So, what do we have? Looks like a much higher peak number of torque here than we've seen before, and that was kind of expected with the longer runner. Uh, but we did suffer on the big end there. We don't see that 625 number. So, here's what we're looking at here, guys. We've got the Holly versus the XT right here pretty that's much your identical. horsepower they, they were pretty much identical to each other uh we didn't even bother putting the super victor on here because it was just uh it, it was like a little bumpy over here and then we have the stock intake uh, which is the latest run we did um as you can see the air fuel ratios are pretty much right over each other i mean we're talking not even 0 0.01 of a point difference there uh the stock intake has considerable gains here how much torque is it we're talking uh right here we're looking at uh 449 445 487 so at 4300 rpm we have uh 487 foot pounds of torque versus 445 and 449 now coming back up to peak torque here uh at 5300 rpm so it came in the peak torque came in much earlier and then it started dropping off on the stock intake manifold we've got 529 foot-pounds of torque versus uh, 499 and 495 so 30 foot-pounds of torque at, at peak torque peak torque uh, is, is is a good amount there now uh, keep in mind guys you spend more time here than you do up here so uh, longer runner intake and again for a boosted application you know we just thought here let's see what the stock manifold will do for us versus all these other uh, intakes of course they shine up on top but they did suffer down low uh, again in a boosted application I think uh, too bad we don't have it but the fast uh, the fast intake manifold might be uh, might be the one to choose for this specific application uh, again well the boost is going to carry it over yeah boost is going to carry it so here's the numbers we've got 529.8 foot-pounds of torque 594 horsepower and then let's take a look at the uh, here's the Edelbrock XT so they, they really shine in the 68 60 900 RPM yeah range. so we, we 503 foot-pounds of torque 623 horsepower so we we gave up the torque to gain the horsepower on the big end and then here's the uh, Holly Hiram final numbers that we had on there. 505, 621, pretty much the same numbers as the XT. And then here's our Super Vic, which uh, suffered suffered down low. Yeah. Yeah. So anyhow, um, thanks for checking us out guys and uh, 
We're going to have a quick recap of uh, all four intake manifolds. Toby's, Toby's going to talk about them and really what this is all about is uh, engineering the proper engine combination which is the whole thing. You got your compression, displacement, cam profile, intake size, plenum volume and runner length, uh, throttle body sizing um, and then, then you start throwing another mix uh, into it which is obviously your head selection, your blower selection, um, the weight of the components, the, the valves, the valve springs, everything. You, you guys, uh, cookie cutter engines, you know, uh, anything you could buy on the internet that anybody else can buy is not optimal. And for a little bit more money, you're going to get a lot for your dollar. Uh, it's horsepower per dollar, guys, and spend it wisely. All right, see you soon. Hey, guys, it's Toby, and we're back. We're going to recap what we've found tonight on the different dyno tests. Now, uh, it's sad to see so many guys that have a 6.0 or a 6.2 and they run the, the Victor Junior intake uh, because they want to run a carburetor. I mean, that's great if you want to run a carburetor, but as you can see, a single plane intake, especially on a smaller engine that's not as modified, is going to lose torque and horsepower pretty much everywhere. So you can obviously see that even this one, the Super Victor on a 408 with big cylinder heads, I mean, those cylinder heads flow about 400 CFM at around 700 lifts. So, um, it's got more cubic inches, it's got a great cylinder head, yet this intake uh, was basically crap. So you wouldn't want to use this unless it was a much higher compression, bigger cubic inch possibly, and turning a lot more RPM. So we're just going to put this one aside. Now you've got the Edelbrock Pro Flow XT, the Highly High Ram, and you can see, you can clearly see how much taller the Highly, uh, Highly High Ram is. It's about two inches taller so if you want to run these intakes um, obviously the benefit is the pro flow is shorter so if hood clearance is an issue then I would definitely take the pro flow it made essentially the same power sadly as you can see again uh, well actually you can't really tell because this is a 90 millimeter throttle body but uh, I do wish Edelbrock had uh, made the opening a bit bigger kind of like the the Holly high ram I mean, you never know. Bigger cubic inches, it might have um, hurt top end power, but it essentially mirrored the Holly High Ram, which has been a proven intake. But hey, if hood clearance is an issue, then there's no downside to the Pro Flow XT. Now, honestly, in, in our opinion, the clear fit winner for overall driving would be the factory LS3 intake. Now, had we had a fast LS3, uh, that'd be great. Actually, unfortunately, we didn't have one. It didn't arrive on time, so we couldn't test that intake. Maybe, maybe we'll do another 80, uh, video in the future, and we'll test the fast with the same 102 millimeter throttle body. So I'd, I'd like to see that video. I'm sure you guys would too. Uh, obviously, you're talking about 40 foot-pounds of torque on the low end, uh, somewhere around 30, even in the mid-range uh, peak torque for the factory intake, so this is the clear cut winner. Uh, yes, you do lose uh, top end power, so about after 65, it starts going down. Luckily, this is a boosted engine, and it's a 408 cubic inch engine, so the blower is gonna carry the power curve. Now, another thing you gotta think about is the fact that it is a 408, and it's making essentially 600 horsepower uh, with this intake, so if you're at 550 horsepower, these intakes, this intake, especially the single plane, is going to lose torque and power everywhere. So this is a clear cut winner in this case. Um, as Martin mentioned earlier, there are many cookie cutter and mail order engines, uh, but we actually take the time to test different engines, test different combinations. We can't show them all because some customers are racing. Uh, it's very competitive out there. So we can't show every single dyno video. But if you do need a custom engines, uh, custom engine built, we're your guys. If you want a mail order or cheapy engine, unfortunately we just can't help you with that uh, because to do it right, to make great power, it does cost more money. So if you have any questions, just give us a call. Thank you.